So what's going on guys, it's JM at Speedbox here. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So WBC, WBO and Ring Magazine like Worldweight Champion Terence Crawford. If he faces WBA, IBF and IBO like Worldweight Champion Julius Ndongo in his next fight and Julius Ndongo accepts the fight then it will not be an undisputed title fight and that is because the IBF will strip Julius Ndongo for not forcing his mandatory and not making a fight with his mandatory challenger Sergei Lipinets who's 12-0 with 10 knockouts and this is a bit of a shame if this fight happens because it will have a piece of the puzzle missing and this fight would have had literally every belt that meant anything in the light like, weight division on the line. It would have had the WBC, the WBA, the WBO, the IBF, the IBO and the Ring Magazine. And we don't see undisputed title fights in boxing much because of boxing politics. This promoter don't work with that promoter and this champion don't want to fight this champion and this sanctioning body won't do this and that, you know what I mean? And this is boxing politics right here as well. And I think the last undisputed title fight we saw, I think it was Bernard Hopkins and Jermaine Taylor in 2005, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Taylor, Hopkins won. Because Hopkins, Taylor 2, all the belts were on the line. And <laughs> Hopkins, Taylor 2 was probably one of the most boring fights I've ever seen in my life. But anyway, the IBF are a very strict sanctioning body. We all know that. They're very tough when it comes to enforcing mandatories and they're very by the book. Like the whole Tyson Fury situation when he didn't fight his mandatory challenger, he was stripped within about two weeks because of the rematch clause he had with Vladimir Klitschko. But he didn't really need to have the rematch clause with Vladimir Klitschko in the first place because he was mandatory to one of Tyson, not Tyson Fury's, he was mandatory to one of Klitschko's titles anyway, Tyson Fury. He was the mandatory to the WBO title, so... I don't know the situation there but all I know is that the IBF stripped him very quick and it's a sad thing really because Terence Crawford would have been or Julius Ndongo would have been the true champion at £140 like when does that ever happen when do you ever see one champion that holds everything and I mean everything that Mickey Mouse IBO title the ring magazine title which is very prestigious and stuff like that like you never see that anymore Sergei Lipinets I've never really heard of the geezer but apparently if Ndongo signs for the Crawford fight then he will face the next highest ranked contender in the IBF for the vacant title so it's a bit of a shame but it's boxing politics we have to deal with it the IBF or that sanctioning body they are very by the book and stuff like that and we've got to respect it obviously they're just doing their job and doing things by the book and if that's what they do then that's what they do so yeah if Terence Crawford fights Julius Ndongo it won't be for everything it won't be for all the belts because the IBF title will be missing so yeah that's just that situation comment below in the comment section your opinion on this do you think it's right for the IBF to do this do you think it's fair that all the belts won't be on the line but you know what i mean it's just one of them things it is boxing so yeah comment below in the comment section it's